Coinbase holds first court face-off with SEC. Here's what you need to know. Imbal equals Andrew Thurbala's SRC equals HTTPS slash slash sim co slash author slash 977 slash responsive images slash at media library original 300 300 JPEG class equals Imfluid Im circle loading equals auto Andrew Thurbala's Im with equals 16 height equals 16 SRC equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash theme slash crypto news slash images slash post author icon SVG class equals Imfluid verified by Kashiar of Aussie last updated. January 16, 2024, 2331 ESD 2 min read. Im with equals 1200 height equals 807. SRC equals HTTPS. Slash slash crypto news. Com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 701 million 264,833 Coinbase logo. JPEG class equals attachment post thumbnail size post thumbnail WP post image all equals Coinbase logo decoding equals a sync SRC set equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 701 million 264,833 Coinbase logo JPEG 1200 wa HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash wp content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 701 million 264,833 coinbase logo 300 x 102 jpeg 300 wa https slash slash crypto news com slash wp content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 701 million 264,833 coinbase logo 1924 x 689 JPEG 1924 HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 11 slash 1 billion 701 million 264,833 Coinbase logo 768 516 JPEG 768 with sizes equals max width 1200x 100 wa 1200 slash source Adobe slash Raphael Henrique the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC is meeting Coinbase today in federal court, with both parties presenting their first oral arguments amid their industry-defining lawsuit. Back in June, the market regulator sued Coinbase for listing a handful of crypto asset securities on its trading platform while failing to register as a securities exchange. Unlike other crypto firms that have succumbed and agreed to pay a fine when faced with SEC legal pressure, Coinbase has defended itself. In August, the exchange argued that it lists no securities at all and that the regulator has a warped interpretation of how crypto assets relate to securities law. Furthermore, in approving its S-1 application form to list on national securities exchanges, Coinbase claims the SEC had implied that its business operations were by the law. Coin is down 16% since the beginning of January, partly due to the SEC's reluctant approval of Bitcoin spot ETFs, which have sucked investor capital away from other crypto-related companies and products, Coinbase's odds against the second. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler explained last week that his agency's approval of such funds was largely a response to its unfavorable ruling in another crypto-related case with Grayscale last year. At the time, the court determined that the SEC hadn't provided consistent reasoning for why it had previously approved Bitcoin future ETFs, but was rejecting spot ETFs. Upon approving the ETFs, Gensler emphasized that he was respecting the law and the court's directive. That said, the agency's ruling would in no way signal the commission's willingness to approve listing standards for crypto asset securities. He added, nor does the approval signal anything about the commission's views as to the status of other crypto assets under the federal securities laws or about the current state of noncompliance of certain crypto asset market participants with the federal securities laws. Experts have predicted that Coinbase is unlikely to secure an outright dismissal of the SEC's case. In fact, the company could lose up to 30% of its revenue if forced to segregate some of its multifaceted services into different buckets, including trading, staking, and custodianship. Judge Catherine Polk Fela, who is overseeing the case, already has experience within the crypto realm. In August, she dismissed a class action case against decentralized exchange Uniswap arguing that Ether ETH is a commodity 